In this demonstration, we'll see how to use Simscape to determine actuator requirements from a specification. We are designing a scissor lift. Our specification tells us how fast the platform must raise. What we need to determine is what is the force required to achieve this motion. The force required also depends on design decisions, such as where the actuator is actually attached. We need to determine the requirements for the actuator based on the performance specs while taking account the design changes. We're going to use Simscape Multibody to convert the performance spec into an actuator requirement. We're going to use one joint to specify the motion. We're going to use a separate joint to automatically calculate the force required to achieve this motion. In this way, we'll be able to vary the design, determine the force requirement, and every step along the way be sure that it will meet the specification for performance. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is our model of the scissor lift. We know how quickly the platform must be raised and lowered due to the specification. We're trying to design this actuator. We also have to take into account adjustments made to the design. The attachment point of the bracket may change, and so we need to factor that into our simulation as well. We want to run tests adjusting this point of, of adjusting the attachment point, making sure that we meet the performance spec and determine the force required by the actuator. Here is our model of the scissor lift itself. Inside here is where the actuator is modeled. The way we have modeled the actuator is we are specifying the platform height per the specification on this signal, and we're going to calculate the force required to achieve this motion in the prismatic joint modeled in the actuator. We're going to use a MATLAB script to automate this process. We have a set of points we wish to test for the attachment point. We're going to run a set of simulations that test that point and see what the results are for the force required. So we're running the test at the first attachment point. We can see how the lift is moving up and down. And from each simulation, we're recording the amount of force required. You can note that we're using fast restart. This is what is enabling the simulation to restart much more quickly. This is the result of the third test. You can hopefully see that the point where the bracket is attached is moved a little bit. I'm leaving my mouse in the same position to show it to you. And now we're testing the fourth position. Now that the tests are complete, we will plot those results on a figure window, and here we can see the actuator force required as the offset was changed. For each of these tests, again, we were making sure that we were meeting the performance spec by specifying the height of the platform via this signal to meet the value required in the specification. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can convert performance level specifications to actuator requirements.